Hey, welcome back to our Google My Business setup series, going over how to properly set up your Google My Business listing for the greatest success, maximizing your exposure, searches, and ultimately getting more customers who are seeking you out, wanting to buy your products and services, okay? In this video, we're gonna be focusing on some of the other elements that you can add to your photos and videos before you upload them to Google My Business so that you can maximize their effectiveness, okay? So again, if you, go through the previous training, which I highly encourage you that, you that you go through that thoroughly up until this point because it is sequential in nature and it all builds on itself. If you knock this part out too and everything sort of adds up and compounds on each other, if you do this step as well, again, this will give you that additional advantage over everybody else. And I don't know if you've noticed this by now, but watching this video series, there's a lot of steps to this, okay? Most people are lazy and they'll skip some steps. So every step that they skip that you don't gives you an impressive edge over everybody else. And so that's what I wanna give you by giving you some of the extras that most people aren't paying attention to when they're optimizing their photos for Google My Business, okay? So here's two more areas that I want you to focus on when you're optimizing your photos. And this is the last thing that we're doing before we actually upload everything to Google My Business and to, to finish this process, okay? So there's two more areas. There's there's a place where you can add more tags and keywords to your actual photos, okay? And there's a place where you can also add a description. And there are particular things that you want to add to those individual places. And that's what I want to show you here really quick, okay? Uh, there are other things that you can add to the photos, but um, these are some of the most important ones uh, that you want to pay attention to. So let's take... Um, this like previous example I was working with with side click design okay I want to open up the photo information and so you'll see a couple different things okay uh, you saw in the previous videos we actually named them the correct way that's that's a very important part but you'll also notice that there's this area here it says comments there's an area up here that says tags okay so this is very very important all right. Uh, if you're on a PC, this is going to show up a little bit different. Uh, the comments area might say description, and the tags area might say keywords. Okay. So what you want to do is in the comments area. Okay, this is very sneaky. Uh, what you want to do is you actually want to put in what we call the NAP for your business, the name, address, and phone number. Okay. So what that looks like is if you go back here, we've got our business information the name, address, and phone number. We want to copy all of these things here. Okay, take that, and then let's go back over into the file here, and then we'll paste this information right into the file. Boom, so it's done. Okay, for the tags, what you want to do is you want to put in all of the LSI keywords into the tags. So, you know, um, I would just take that list from the previous page and copy and paste it in here. As long as the LSI keywords make sense for the particular photo, you can just go nuts. You can have 10, 10 keywords uh, in this tag section if you want, okay? Uh, the number doesn't matter as long as they're they're relevant or very close to relevant. So you might put, you know, website designer, uh, web design, um, graphic design, oops, graphic design, logo design, okay, that kind of thing. And you can put like 10 or 20 of those in here, okay? Um, what I would do is I would, I would shy a little bit away from putting in the geographically related data and just keep it more uh, industry related. Okay, that's how you can make this more safe for you. You don't want to be, um, uh, you don't want to keyword stuff this too much. I've talked about that in previous videos. Okay, so that's the general rule of thumb. Uh, these are two other areas that you want to optimize for your photos. These I would consider to be the last steps before you actually optimize everything. Uh, the last steps of optimization before you upload everything to Google My Business. So these are the bare bones things. Now there are some other things that we go into uh, inside of our advanced training where you can add even more juice to your photos. Okay, These are sort of like our secret sauce, if you will, when we apply this stuff for our customers and clients. And if you want access to that and you want to go above and beyond what we've showed you here and gain that extra advantage for your business, then I think you'll really enjoy the advanced training that we put together for you. And you can find out more about that when you click the link below this video. And we'll get very in depth uh, in this training. So you know, I just gave you a sample here of the, the basic idea of what to do here. 
in our advanced training, I'm going to take you literally step by step through all of it. It's almost painstaking <laughs> to watch me go through it because it is in real time and I show you exactly how long it takes to do it and I give you the insight uh, of what I'm thinking as I go through it uh, so that you can apply that same insight and the various different examples to your business as you follow along and implement it for you or maybe for your clients if you manage clients. Okay, so you can find out more about that in our advanced training, but this should be more than enough to help get you started. And so that concludes the the research and the optimization portion of this training for your Google My Business setup. In the next and final video, we're going to be talking about uploading them the proper way. It's pretty straightforward, but I just want to make sure that we do have a video for it uh, to make sure that uh, you put everything in the right place as you go ahead and upload all of this media. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching my video. If you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content they're publishing every single day. I'll see you on the next video.